Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trade into the upside. Dow's up 105, three tenths percent, seven tenths for the S&P. That's 26 points. One and three tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 147 points. Russell's up 1 percent, 16 points. Trade out of 17.24. Gold's up seven bucks. Silver's up 50. Pennies lights recruit is trading back a buck 68. 117.24 is the print there. Natural gas up 43 cents. And the 30 Treasury is up almost one point. Trade out at 132.08. Let's take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner. You got the ES Mini. ES Mini, although it's not shown here, is in an A to B equal CD to downside. We all took a look at that yesterday. Hopefully, you joined in there. And so, if we did get a bullish reversal candle today, it would signal a buy the D point pattern with the first bounce perhaps taking us up to the 3887 level. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it is trading lower. That's to be expected with the SP up. And price right now is back below. It's inside its Bollinger Band reading. If it closes underneath the uh, 3134 level today, that's going to be a suggestion to you and I that price should make its way back to the 50-day exponential moving average currently printed at 2745. And that then would or should uh, create a rally inside the S&P. The NASDAQ, the NQ, is attempting to form a new profile. This uh, happened for us, not to us. It happened just as we were coming on the air. The bottom of that profile, so this tells us now it may not form, although it's likely to form. But it's still, we really won't know until the end of the trading session today. But right now, I can tell you that buyers are lined up at 11,396 and sellers are lined up at 11,716 out there. So, not really a wide range, but that's where the buyers and sellers are lined up inside of the NQ. US dollar index is trading above the top of its weekly profile. That's suggesting it wants to head to the 126 level. Gold has found support at the bottom of its daily profile. That's 18,1380. New profile attempting to form inside of silver with support at 2101. One resistance 2239. We take a look at the lights we crude. Yesterday was a confirmed roads momentum indicator top out there that suggests a move lower because this is a bearish structured profile, which only lasts for another day out here. Uh, price should move back to about the 11241 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.